What's up everybody, 915 Man here doing a video today showing the tank at night, uh, doing a little bit of tank action. This side is all the A cans that I picked up. When I get a chance, I'm going to go ahead and organize all the A cans, maybe go ahead and mount them on the live rock, super glue them in place, uh, come out and do something like that. I kind of don't really like the way that I have it, it's just more that I threw them to the side and uh, to get them out the way. If you haven't seen so, I did have a couple of holes in some live rock. I put some frag plugs in there of uh, a can, and the a can has grown into the rock. So if you haven't done that, that's pretty cool to do. The only thing you have to do is get a drill. Go ahead and drill into the live rock, and boom, put it in there, super glue it so it doesn't fall out, and man, you're good to go. Takes a little bit, but it uh, looks really good. Hollywood chalice, stunner chalice is doing good. This frog spawn, I love how big the uh, tips are. It's really nice and fluffy but one of the problems that i want to show you in the tank is these daisy polyps they have uh grown and spread and started taking over this whole rock which i really don't like i do like the little daisy polyps um i like all polyps zoas clothes you know and uh but these ones they've pretty much taken over this whole rock i need to frag it and uh clear out this rock because i really don't like the look that it's there i mean this thing would be pretty cool on uh, like the overflow or the back of the aquarium or something like that but for it to be on my live rock like this where i'm trying to make all sps uh it's really not a good look as far as testing i hadn't been testing for a while have all the test kits there it's just a matter of time and actually getting up and doing it i said i was going to do it and then before i know it the next day i didn't even test that day so I finally started doing that. I guess it happens to the best of us. And my alkalinity dropped all the way down to 5 DKH. Um, with that being said, my monoporas start taking a hit. Uh, luckily for me, some of my sticks um, still look good. So I guess you, by the saying that, you know, I can tell when something's going wrong with my tank. You can tell when it, it's already happened, you know. But the whole goal is to be proactive, make sure that, it doesn't happen prevent it from happening and if you could do that man you won't be killing some of your corals like I did uh, luckily for me the only thing that has been taking a hit are the red monopora and also the green and purple branching monopora that I have up there but that's why I'm not an SPS master like a lot of you guys a lot of you guys are on it you test you do logs you have these apps that keep track of your parameters um, that's all very good. I just need to be like you guys. Also, on the left of the screen, you can see what I was talking about, the A-can. I ended up putting a little tiny frag, and look at it. It grew into the rock, and it looks great. Now, on the other hand, you see all these daisy polyps. I don't like that look. Um, it's cool maybe for like a little bit of your rock, but not for it to go ahead and cover up your entire rock. You can see this stuff is encroaching on, you know, the space of the SPS. And... I don't want to make sure I want to make sure that this uh, soft coral doesn't uh, kill some of my sticks. Now, a lot of my other sticks at night are I've been really lucky since my DKH fell really low. Um, still have good color. You know, I don't know how much longer they would have still had good color, but it's all about preventive maintenance. In fact, today I went ahead and knocked out a 20 gallon water change. Um, and I think having a big tank like this. You got to do those big water changes. Um, these little 5, 10 gallon water changes most definitely not working out. As far as my Zoas, I'm very happy that they're still doing good. These guys are not going to go bad. Um, but they do uh, like dirty water. So I guess by me not doing these big old water changes, they're doing really good. I'm going to go ahead and give you a close up so you can see some of the colors of these Zoas and Pallies. Um, they're growing. I haven't fragged a lot of them. I did. I have started to frag a little bit of them, but a majority of them are still not fragged. Waiting for them to grow more before I do anything and put them into the 40 gallon. These ones are looking really cool because they have a pink outside and then the speckled inside. But I kind of be careful with these guys because I don't want them to overgrow my tank. These blastos are doing really good. I got the red agaves up there on the top, Captain America's. I haven't got to the fragging yet. I'm going to go ahead and take get rid of all those green polyps. Don't like them. And uh, possibly look at 
messing around with these zo the cloves on top. But hey, now having a little bit of an elk issue and uh, having to frag corals is not a big deal. Can't wait till a couple years from now where everybody's going to have an alkalinity monitor and it's going to be a lot more affordable than what it is right now. Of course, everybody with the big bucks is going to go out and get that stuff. But for me, I'm just going to wait. I still don't even have an apex. Maybe later on, uh, maybe I'll slow down and uh, go ahead and save up and get one. But who knows, in a couple of years or a couple of months, the way that aquarium technology goes, it's going to be even more flooded with uh, alkalinity testers, automatic, automated, um, every dosing pumps that are going to monitor your alkalinity and then go ahead and dose accordingly. That's going to be this, the bomb right there. So my tank is doing good without it, and I'm not going to go out and try to spend all my cash doing that. Um, believe it or not, I do have a limited amount of aquarium uh, budget and uh, so when I do get stuff I choose uh, wisely try to get the best deal that I can. Typically that is on uh, corals so I have so many frags and uh, man these things have taken off. Start off with I try to get the best deal just all I need is like one two little heads a little piece of that coral and just go ahead and grow it right there. Um, so I'll always choose coral over that uh, technology. And I usually always choose coral over fish, but there is one fish that I would really, really love to get. Um, I've seen a few LFS stores here in El Paso carry them, and that's an Achilles tang. I think if I get an Achilles tang, uh, I'll be done with adding fish um, because th those fish are such awesome looking fish. I'd rather have an Achilles tang over a purple tang. I don't know if they're the same temperament, but I think that is my go-to fish. Um, so I'll probably be saving up for that later on, probably after the holidays because the holidays are quickly approaching, guys. I know one person that has one, and that's my buddy Rad Perez. Uh, hopefully his is still doing good. I know you guys got hit over there in Florida, uh, but I hope all you guys are doing okay. Um, and then secondly that your tanks are okay So shout out to all your reefers that have been affected by that hurricane um, I would love to see some videos of your tanks and what you did if your tanks made it okay, and uh, hopefully you guys are are all right So as soon as I get a chance I'm gonna go ahead and do some fragging kind of change up the tank a little bit um, I would like to get some gloves those long sleeve gloves that go all the way up to your armpits. So that way I'm not always sticking my hands up in here. But I am going to go ahead and make a few changes. Go ahead and do some cutting. And uh, change up the tank a little bit. Um, some of the things that I need to change are the Xenia. I'm going to get rid of that Xenia. Every time I cut it down to the stock. Always comes back. Grows full force with a vengeance. Even though I have it in between two torches. It doesn't care. It just keeps on going. As far as this bubblegum digi is doing really good, the difference between the bubblegum digi is just like a forest fire digi, except it has blue in it, and uh, that blue and the red with a little bit of green polyps on it, uh, it's going to look good once it grows out. Also that favia on the top, looking good, the candy corn, and uh, this orange one is doing really good. But this other one is a uh, cornbread favia that I picked up from a local reefer. Um, Nick, it's doing good. At first, I was like, oh, I don't really like it because uh, it wasn't really showing any cool colors or anything. But now you can see it's encrusting over the frag plug, starting to have some cool colors. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick a piece of flat live rock on there so that way it can grow onto the rock and just spread out. I think that would be pretty sweet uh, just because of the colors that it has. And uh, things are starting to do good despite, uh, you know, the little few issues that you're going to encounter with your reef tank the same thing happening to my reef tank still like to get a golden torch that's on the uh watch list you know i'm not in a rush but if i can get one at a good price then i'll go ahead and do it uh i still haven't made it out to another lfs that uh was carrying a golden torch but uh you know what if i can find it i can't i'll get it if not i'll just keep keep my eye on it you know uh, i'm not trying to get everything all fast and quick in a hurry but uh, if I can get it at a good price, then I will. 
But other than that, guys, I'm just going to kick back, enjoy, watch these corals, enjoy the tank. Everything is doing good. My two firefish that I added uh, a couple of weeks ago are doing good. No issues. All the fish are healthy. I didn't quarantine, which is uh, probably a big no-no. But the good thing is my LFS has that monster UV sterilizer. That's not the, you know, the save-all uh, solution. But at least uh, I'm picking them up from a reputable LFS. Um, as far as the corals, just going to watch them grow, maintain uh, the alkalinity, and just keep up on that. Um, and uh, later on, probably probably when I can, if a nice Achilles tank comes in or something that's strong and healthy, I'm going to pick it up. That fish, I would probably quarantine it. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to keep my eyes open for that. I mean, it's just what I would like to add to my tank, and I think that would be pretty sweet. So with that said, I hope you guys have a good one. You guys take care. Like and subscribe. And uh, you guys have a good one. Take care, guys.